Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, welcome back here to Big Beaver out here at the Highland Crossing, not too far from the Highland Cut and uh, New Galilee. I love this area so much. Many thanks to my friend Chad, aka the guy in the orange hat who's uh, introduced me to this place. You can actually hear a train right now. And uh, anyway, many thanks to him to showing me this place. This is where I caught the Conrail Heritage Unit out this way. And uh, this is just such a beautiful area for rail fanning. You're not too far out of the Pittsburgh area. You're not too far from the Conway Rail Yard for Norfolk Southern. And you know, unlike the city life, you feel like you're really out in the country here. You're not that far from the city though, which is nice. But as you can see, it's snowing. It's a blustery 30 degrees. It's uh, a week before Christmas when I'm filming this, given the uh, you know Christmas story hat I'm wearing. It's very warm, by the way. Found it at Pilot for six bucks on our way back from Texas. But anyway, I'm out here to do some rail fanning. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna catch. Hopefully we get some good things. I've caught some good things in the other video, so hopefully we'll get something good and, uh, and make the best of it. So anyway, I hear a train on its way. Let's see what it is and go from there. Okay, we have an intermodal coming. We've been lucky on the last couple. We saw with doors open on it, so let's see what we get on this. Well, that was a cool catch. Nothing special on that. It was a short one. But the reason I mentioned with the container doors being open, uh, the I don't know if you noticed in the video that I put up from Weatherford, Texas, we caught a manifest and there were two containers on there with doors open. And when I pulled up here this morning, it was still dark. It, I, it was too dark for me to film. An intermodal going westbound came by and there was a door open on a container and I'm actually disappointed I wasn't filming it even though the quality would have been terrible because out here when it's dark there's no light at all except for the headlights on the car. So it really wouldn't have looked too well. Although I do have a new flashlight now thanks to uh, Kayla's dad and I mean this thing is like a skylight. It'll light up a football field and it might be good for nighttime rail fanning just as long as I don't point it at the locomotive, especially with the engineer and conductor trying to drive this train. Don't want to blind them. But for the cars behind it, fair game. But anyway, yeah, we caught one with a door open on it right before it got daylight out here. So we'll see what else we catch while we're out here. Okay, good, we have another train. It's an intermodal.
All right, well, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video anyway since it's getting pretty long. But that was cool. Some good stuff on the rails here. But I'm gonna hang around, maybe do another video. But anyway, I thank you for watching. If you're not familiar with Chad's channel, aka the guy in the orange hat, you definitely want to go check it out. He does a lot of rail fan videos out here. He's the reason why I know this spot. And, uh, you know, I miss him and uh, my friend Becky as well. It's fun to meet up with them and do all this rail fanning out here with them. But it's funny. I just got a message from Becky, and uh, <laughs> they caught the same train down in Rochester. I was going to message them to see if they were available, but I figured, oh, it's 7 in the morning. They might be sleeping in on a Saturday, like a normal person would do. The only reason I'm up this early is because Kayla works at 6 a.m., and when she gets done at 10 a.m., then we can enjoy our day. But in the meantime, I have this time to kill, so I figured I'd come out here and enjoy some rail fanning. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, go over to Chad's channel. Check it out. It's called Historic BF. Link is in the description below. Tell him I sent you. He's a very good friend. But anyway, I'm going to wrap up. It's very cold out here. It is a week before Christmas, even though when you see this video, it's pr most likely after New Year's now. But, whew, I love the snow out here. I love nature. I, I just love this out here. It's like an escape from the city without being that far from it. And it's beautiful out here. But anyway, I do have to take off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's behalf, have a rail fanlicious day. See you in the next video. He lived down by the railroad track, had no wood stove in a one-room shack. Shoestring was the only name he had. When I'd skip school, he'd take me fishing, sitting on the creek bank, talking and wishing things were good whenever times got bad. And the people say, shoestring, you ain't got no money, shoestring.